and welcome back. Today we'll learn about the pivot function in Microsoft Excel. So what is a pivot function? The pivot function helps you summarize your data so that analysis becomes much more easier. It summarizes your entire data based on the data that you actually select. So let's start by downloading the file. The file is called the pivot. Once you download the file, we'll start working on it. So here you see we are working on the file called pivot and we are in the sheet employee data. Here what we have is the employee details along with the salary. The salary is the VLOOKUP that we did in the previous session. So now we'll try and understand what a pivot does. For example, we want to understand how many people are in each department. If you have to do that manually, we go to our data filter. Once you have a filter, for example, we want to see how many people in the administrative department. We click on administrative and here we have eight people in the administrative department. Likewise, we want to see in the corporate responsibility group, we have 32 people. Doing this for each group is going to be a tedious task. And remembering the numbers as well could be a challenge. So how can we actually summarize that? We can use the pivot function. So to create a pivot, we'll click inside our data. Once we have clicked on the data, we'll go to the insert tab. On the insert tab, you'll find a pivot table option. Click on the pivot table. And what it does is because we have clicked within our data, it says select a table or range, the employee data. This is the tab that we're talking about. And you see this running ends, this dotted lines and all our data has been selected. And the next thing is choose where you place the pivot table. By default, it's the new worksheet. If you want, you can have it on this worksheet itself. But since the data is big in this worksheet, we'll create a pivot in a new worksheet. When I say new worksheet, click on OK. You see a new page has come up. It's mentioned as sheet four. Depending on the number of pivots you create, the sheet would change. So here on the right hand side, you see we have the pivot field table. We have the options for filter, your column, your rows and your values. What the value does is it gives you a sum of your data. It gives you a count, a sum based on the type of data. So you see here, we have the department and we'll try and see how many people belong to each department. So we'll drag the department to your rows. And you see, we have the administrative, your corporate responsibility group, your customer enhancement. Likewise, we're going to drag the department to your values. And when you drag your data to the values, what it does is based on the type of data, it uh, gives a value accordingly because your department is a number. So for example, we'll go back to your employee data, the department it's not a number, but it's uh, it has fixed values. So what it does is by default, it understands that it is, it's not a number. So it takes the count of department. So here you see your administrative, we have seven, your corporate responsibility group 31. Likewise, all the other groups have also been created. So here you see pivot makes life much simpler. We'll create another pivot just to get a little more experience around it. So we go back to your employee data and here what we'll do is based on the states, we'll see how many people we have. So we click on the data again, go to your insert tab, your pivot table. By default, your range has been selected. Now what we want to do is we want the pivot on an existing sheet. On the sheet, we had the previous pivot. 
So we'll click on the, your existing sheet and on your table range, the button at the side, we'll click on that. We'll go to your sheet four where we have the pivot. Give some space below the previous pivot. Click on the data. So it says sheet four, dollar A, dollar 19. So this is your column A and column 19. So that's being locked there. And we'll click on the button again and we say, okay. So here you see another pivot has been created. Now, like we mentioned, based on the states that people belong to, we drag the state to your rows. We also drag the state to your values. Now you see, this is the number of people that we have from the different states in the US. So Arizona, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, Mississippi. So all of these things is possible with the help of your pivot. Now what we'll do is we'll create another pivot, but this time what we'll do is we'll take numbers into consideration. So back to our employee data. Once we go to our employee data, now what we'll try and do is we'll try and gauge the salary of employees. All right, the monthly salary of employees, how does that look? So we'll do it based on the sub department. So again, click on your data, go to your insert tab, your pivot table option. We'll again select the existing worksheet. Where do we want your data? We'll create it here. Click on OK. And here we have the pivot created and you would see here all the departments. Okay. The sub department is what we want. So we'll drag the sub department to your rows and we said, we'll look at your salary, the monthly salary. We'll drag it to your values. And here you see the value is given the sum by default. And here we have the various departments and what is the salary here? What we can do is we can select your data, uh, just the values, go to your data and sort it. So we'll sort it in a descending order. So we see your manufacturing department has the highest sum amount of salary being paid. Likewise, your facility, your facilities and your engineering department. So here what we have is the sum of the values because it's number you see it's a number uh, uh, by default it gives you a sum but if you want we can actually go about changing that as well and we will learn more about it. So here you see a pivot options and how do we go about creating a pivot. You would notice the pivot table fields when you click outside the pivot table it disappears and when you click on your data it reappears once again. Sometimes what happens is we can actually go about deleting your pivot field table. So we can right click here and hide field list. When you do that, see your field list is gone here. In case if you want to bring that back, how we can go about doing that. You click on the pivot table that we have, go to your pivot table analysis tab out there. You have your field list. And again, we have our data back. Sometimes by default, if we close it here as well, we see the field, field list is gone. Getting that could be a challenge. So again, click on your pivot, go to your pivot table uh, analysis tool and your field list. And here we have our data back. So this is how we go about creating a pivot table. Do spend some time creating as many pivots as possible. This will help you get comfortable with the pivot table and also help you do your analysis better. We will dig a little more deeper in, in terms of how you use your filter, your columns and your value field as well as to how you can change the, the data options there. I look forward to seeing you in the next class. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.